I'll ne you'll never see me in the freaking woods, bro. You'll ne <laughs> ooh, ooh. This f deer. Yo, 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 what it is, what it do? My name is Elijah Mike and I'm back on the mic. Look, I'm here, man, I'm here, I'm here. Um, We just finished an amazing series of Spider-Man 2. Marvel Spider-Man 2, bro, it was just amazing, bro. I know I haven't uploaded a Freaky Friday and I'm sorry, that game just had me so immersed in it. Y'all saw I was playing it on live and then work just got busy, man, so like, me trying to find videos and for y'all to watch, it was just it was just a lot. Like it was a lot. And I was playing Spider-Man. I was too immersed in that game, man. But we are here for another gameplay. It's a new game, man. It's out. It's out. You know, um, this goes well, you know. I mean, you might get a freaky Friday, you might not. You never know. Let me Y'all are getting one, guys. Calm down. Calm down. Y'all are about to get one this week. Just be on the lookout for it. I promise you, you're going to have it. And, I mean, I just want y'all to enjoy some new gameplay as well, man. It's, it's a game called Alan Wake 2. Uh, this nigga's spitting right now. So, let's get into Alan Wake 2. We're playing on the hardest difficulty, y'all. Like, y'all know how I play, bro. I like the hardest difficulty. My lip chap. Nah, we good. We good. We good. We good. We good. We good. That's true. <laughs> Back to the beginning. Oh shit. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Okay. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. Hmm. What the hell going on? I'm supposed to move or something? In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. A trap by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. Mm -hmm. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. What does he want? This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. Hmm. And monsters were made. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I like that. That's clean. How they did that. What the hell is that? That's a man? The f is this? The Smeagol or something? Like the f going on? I need. You need what, nigga? You need some fucking clothes on with your fat ass. Like. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know I gotta talk my shit, bro. Is there flashlights on? Oh my. I'm moving with a butt decked ass man. Oh my god. Nah, this look crazy, bro. It's too dark. Nah, we're good. Look around for what? Bro, where the fuck are we? Bro, we got a butt booty ass man, bro. This is crazy, bro. He butt booty naked. Butt booty. Oh, oh, oh. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. Who is that? Are they looking for him? But I don't like this dog. What's that? That's the game. Oh my God. This looks crazy. You know, I was gonna put my screeners on, but I don't even want them bitches on right now. 
It's so f***ing dark. Ooh, what was that? Ooh, I don't like this. Ooh. Uh-uh, chill out. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Yup. What the f is going on? I just don't understand why we naked in the woods. This is why we don't go in the woods, bro. I'm black, bro. I don't like going in the woods. I'll ne you'll never see me in the freaking woods, bro. You'll never. Ooh, ooh. This f here. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Can I run, bro? Let me run. No, come on, hurry up, bro. Get your butt booty at. at move your fat ass. Let's go. Yes, run. F this shit. You run weird as hell. I'm not gonna care to you. Why you run like that? You don't even use your arms, type shit, bro. Like sprint, nigga. Oh, oh hell no! Nah, dog. This what this game is about? Afro wasn't lying, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, dog. I don't care if I'm yelling. This shit. I don't like this, bro. Why? Is that a sacrifice? Sac sac something? Get away! Get uh, uh Shoot that nigga, bro! Shoot that nigga, bro! Ooh! Ooh! What was I supposed to do? Oh, I knew they was gonna do something with me. Bro, that's how you gonna get me, bro? I'm ass naked, bro. What's the night? What the f a cold? Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Uh, this nigga took the heart out. What the f Run, nigga, run. Why are these black people out in the woods? This nigga dead as hell. That's crazy. That's a start to a game right there. Like, what the hell? Oh, this game about to be fire as hell. This is about to be a fire game. I ain't gonna cap to you. We 13 minutes in. Allen. Wake. Two, nigga. Oh my god, bro. That's... Matthew Parada. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What's happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. Hey, man, that's the ultimate betrayal right there, big man. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. No. Love you too. Damn. Okay, tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan. I will. Okay. Bye, sure.
And bro, the graphics on this is freaking amazing. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. Hmm. Why y'all drinking in sync right there? Y'all, y'all a couple? I don't know. You niggas. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Oh my gosh. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Oh. Okay. Good. Bro, let me move this fucking light. God damn. Here we are. I need that shit. I need that shit. Time to get to work. I can't do this. I got. I got to get up. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. He did. There's the car. So where's the deputy? He did. Eaten by a bear. Oh, yeah. Check out that map. Eaten by something, nigga. Return one invitation. Oh shit. All right. Got move the text. This is the crime scene. Find the deputies. Okay. Uh, Let's so zoom in. We can we run? Then we can run with trees. a. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, keys, location, the area. How I do that? I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Wait, how I do map again? Map displays key location, the area. Okay, yeah, I know that, but can I can I get to it? Oh, there we go. I got it. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just trying to see, bro. I'm just trying to see. I'm just trying to see. I'm gonna go back. But somebody arguing over here. This him. Bro, get out of my way. I'm trying to walk. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Yes, Sheriff nigga. Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. What's good, man? I'm in charge. Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Saga. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Jeez. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that... Uh, Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Yeah, I can see. They definitely, we definitely did. Any witnesses? I could use a briefing. Uh, any witnesses? Were okay. there any witnesses? Yeah. Couple out of towners. Okay. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. I mentioned the city folk. They're pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? But uh. don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. Okay. Okay, he's a briefing. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <laughs> Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. Let's take a look at the body, bro. Let's take a look at the body. I want to see the body. Let's go. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Right. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. Okay. The store, the campground, all of it. Bruh. They got it, Thornton. I'm so dead. Funny, bro. Uh, let me debut Thornton at the general store. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Okay, so what do I do? I like to explore shit, bro, but like I'm trying to see what this I case. I need to think through the facts of the case. Okay. Oh shit! You can access the case board inside the mine place. What the? F okay. Whoa. Whoa. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. 
What the hell? To sift through clues and work the case. This is so cool. Building the mind place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Okay. Okay. The facts are on the board. Okay. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Okay. So the Cauldron Lake murders. A series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls. Finding the connections will help our search for the killer, obviously. Okay, let's see. All victims reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities okay damn nigga fuck move this shit i keep forgetting i can move with r that's weird flight difference in murders bloating only a commonality in bodies but not cause the death chest trauma exposure to water post-mortem okay killer profile let's look at the victims the victim was reported missing in 2010 discovered in 2012 damn two years later buried in a shallow grave okay Found in Cauldron Lake, 2018, some organs missing. They just said that too. Stated body does not match eight years spent in the lake. Why is that? Found two weeks ago. Chest was, uh, chest wound was ruled as caused death tattooing on the body is ineligible. So all of them have, okay, so bruising, form of restraint, strapped to a belt, okay. Deep gash. Most recent victim died of major chest trauma consistent with 2018 victim. Hard to confirm. So all of them, all body experience bloating. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Wait, visiting the mind place does not pause the game. So be careful nearby. That's crazy. So we can get hit when we're in a mind place? Oh my God. Wait, where the fuck is it? Oh, right here. Deputy Thornton. I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind this door. Come on, I'll show you. Get to the crime scene, okay. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. Yeah, that motion blow is fucking with my hair right now, bro. Those are real? You guys hiring? Thornton, she's choking. Let's just see this body, shall we? What's up with the sounds, bro? Chill out. Now, this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now, he didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No Sh time. Jesus no Christ. Christ. Rice. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this oh, fit the MO hold up, bro. They showed his little dang. I don't like that. He is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. I don't know what you want me to do with that. Cool. Another Places. body turns up just as we arrive in town. Okay. Coincidence? Consistent with previous murders. Okay. Uh, I need to see if this is linked to the killings. We're here to investigate. Her. Her. What else? Step one: examine the corpse. Okay. Obviously. All right. Let me see. Look at clues. We got the heart. The killer left the heart right next to the body. That's so weird. Uh, oh, because they were chasing whoever. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. Crazy as fuck, bro. That was disturbing. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Okay. Let's see the case for it. Newly discovered. Okay. Open question. Oh, okay. Place it on the open question. Bruising is alive and we're strained. Okay. Major chest. That's not right. So it's a heart first. Heart is first. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Heart is second. That's first. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. Okay. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders, but this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. 
This makes four murders that we know about. Hmm. Learning much as previous. Uh, those see, learn more about the victim, learn about the killer. Okay. The killers. Find evidence. Talk to someone. Okay. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large so. amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Obviously. Got told to fuck Multiple up. people were here. Multiple killers? Mm-hmm. Okay. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here. Waiting. That's so weird. Okay. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Yeah. I'm assuming it was for a camera. So, clipboard. Let me go to the board. Let's go to case board. Alright. Some also sets of footprints. That was the second one. Heavy blood spot on the table. The victim. That was on the victim. That's a sure on the victim, bro. What the f Okay, that's for later. Also says a footprints. That's the killers. Keep trying. Bro, I'm literally I'm literally trying to put it somewhere, bro. Thank you. Bootprints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Oh, about to find, okay. That's for later. What do you mean for later? Where the fuck am I supposed to go? It's just her. Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. Hmm. Okay. Nice talking to you, too. Yeah, something up with them. Caldera is a pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. What's this? You got it. Nigga, we got ammo? I used to love geology when I was in school. Oh, they gave me ammo. I helped Logan build a great Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Oh, shit. Any idea who the victim is? No, oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, yeah. Until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oops. Oh, yes, you probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Okay. So you Forced knew our him. victim. Oh, shit. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. It's I always Quantico. Cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Mm. Got the boot pretty quick after that. What happened? Okay, so he's been missing since 2010? Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Okay. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. What so what I... happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze. Booze led to paranoia. Okay. He had some wild ideas in his head. Chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Mm. Okay, so we got some finally. Finally, Casey Nine Guy went off the deep end. FBI fired him. Thornton victim is Robert Nightingale. Last seen in the Bright Falls. So we're gonna put him right there. No, oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about Robert Nightingale, ex FBI. Came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Okay. Try to find her body. 
can meditate. Okay, what's that? What's that? <clears throat> Cooler and beer bottles are nearby. Okay. What the fuck? How does it do that? They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing That's the time with equipment ready. Okay. They were waiting for him. For this whole time, I didn't have but to run. Why out. Nightingale? Why Nightingale? He's I been know. missing for 13 years. Mm. Why here? Why now? Probably knew too much. The victim came from. Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Okay. This mug always cheers me up. I'm not the worst mom. I'm weak as fuck. Okay, let's see. To set this to the clues I found on people's interests. Okay. Missing person. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. Sweet. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert oh. Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Okay. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. It's somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. Okay. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Okay. Interesting. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Thank God. Lead the way. Sounds good. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. Makes no sense. I didn't know. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Grab it, nigga. What the is going on, bro? A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Huh. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm -hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Mm. Killer left a message. What? The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. That's not scary at all. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. That's interesting. We found the page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Mm hmm. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Hey, you made it that? back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure. 
But the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Odeer Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Mm. Okay. Thanks. Let's get the car, drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. I don't know why this took this long way. I didn't know. <coughs> yeah, there's no need to do that at all. Could just Here we are. Up. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Right, Falls. All right. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these punches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Thanks. By the lodge to get anything from the field office. No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Hmm. Bro, what the frick is this dude? Have the on? diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Hmm. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. Is that my it's nigga? Nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, Are you sure? Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. Mm. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. All right. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. Mm. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Sorry, yes, sir. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Cauldron Lake was fenced off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. Mm. Hmm. Nice to yeah. Excuse me. Gotta be. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Oh, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Hmm. Why were you at Cauldron Lake? What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. Okay. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. Why are you so sassy, nigga? So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy shouting weird shit at us. Hmm. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. He ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. That's exactly what they were. And then we bolted and called the cops. Okay. Why do you think it was a what cult? What makes you say it was a cult? The masks and knives aren't enough. Hmm. They were shouting, 
gold of the tree. The gold of the tree. Gold of the tree. Oh, now you're broke. And we found it. Whoa, whoa. Gold things. Terrifying. What was that? That's all. You found a what? You found a what? Nah, bro. What did y'all find? They found something, bro. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. Uh -huh. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Annie. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. This girl. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. Mm. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Pass the bolt cutter. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with the murder. Um. They were telling the truth. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Uh huh. Told you not to keep that thing from me. Girl, tripping. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. It's like reading a new dream, isn't it, Cynthia? Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. Oh, yes, yeah, nigga. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. Wait, what? <laughs> That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Yo, what? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. Wait, what? You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. Yo, what? What? Nah, that's crazy. Her daughter is, if her daughter's actually dead, that's All crazy. Set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Bro, that's, that's absolutely well, Casey, wild, bro. I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. The murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D &D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! <laughs> That's <laughs> Zen Dragons. <laughs> ah, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guest. Deer feather. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. So if our daughter is actually dead, that's crazy, bro. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What's she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But best not to take it personally. Yeah, I don't know about that one, but that was weird. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Oh, Lead the way, map. Sheriff. Got a new map. Cool. I'll be right oh, this is the sir. Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Yep, yep. Anything Just you need? Here to Just pay my ticket. Let us know. We, we appreciate the support, Sheriff. Be around. Hmm. What's in here? 
Oh dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. If only I had a tour guide, also. Bear season. Bruh. Yo, what? Damn it! <laughs> somebody called for a tour guide. Oh, wow. Coast Club Brothers Adventure <laughs> Tours. Unforgettable yeah. tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Coast Club voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized <laughs> and restricted access to many local nature attractions. But it's true, Yarko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why, at Coast Color Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, Fuck the government. <laughs> we have bolt cutters. I oh, like them, bro. Oh, oh my gosh. That's hilarious, bro. So we share more with the funeral home next door, the featuring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle it. nine percent discount. I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Oh shit. I don't like this. The morgue is a place I don't ever want to work in. Oh, my bad. My bad, y'all. My bad, my bad. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Nigga, let me why are you going in front of me? Oh, what's up, Shadi? Okay, let's take a look at our patient. Oh my God! Bro. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. Bro, y'all see that shit? That shit's small as hell. Why would you, you say that? Fix it. Why would you say that? What other clues can the body give me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, so we got the heart. There's writing on here. Oh shit! Okay. Can't make it out. All right, all right. How do they manage that? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. Okay. It doesn't add up. Yeah, bro. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Oh, what the frick? What is that? Defensive wounds. You put up a fight. Yeah. Uh huh. They did leave something inside his chest. Oh Lord. Oh my God. Oh wow. You ain't got no gloves on? Like I'm pretty sure you're supposed to have gloves on, right? It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Why are you touching it with your hands? Nightingale haunted saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. Okay. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. So, my um, boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 wait. Whoa, what the hell? What the hell? Yo, what the hell? See into bright light. Oh 
shit. I was saying, I didn't avoid being detected by enemies. Oh, my God. Attack from a safe haven while on common rule with contemporary unavailable. I flick the switch at the gotta move now. Not now, he's coming back. Need to get my gun. Go, what? What the f Oh nah, this game about to be fire as f This game about to be fire as f y'all. Uh <laughs> nah, bro. Um chapter one is crazy. This game about to be fire as fuck. I already know it is, bro. Like, I, I really want to play the first one now. I might just play it after the second one just to play it. But, like, that's the end of chapter one, bro. I hope y'all enjoyed this because this, it was a slow start. But I know it's about to start picking up after seeing that. Crazy, bro. I got to get my aim a little better. Y'all know I'm, like, bad, bro. I'm, like, dashy with the aim, bro. Like, it takes me a minute. But... Yo, that, that, that's chapter one, bro. Alan Wake 2? Yeah, this is about to be fire as f Yeah. And stay tuned. Freak Friday's coming back soon. Peace, niggas. I'm a legit individual. I spent a long way from the road.